even in this place, NCR's shadow falls? Or is it just you, courier, without the bear's corpse to weigh you down? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. You've answered your own question, and you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaisar. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull, brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer the East, and you brought the West in that package. You destroyed something larger than the bear, greater than the bull. And even when you could have turned away, you destroyed a nation taking its first breath. A place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide. The chip. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. <laughs> Blame you. No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation, and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. No. The paths we've walked, the roads, and the flags above them carry equal blame. You walked the west, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. And knowing that you believe in a bear's sickness and have given it strength, and that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, um... <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to... I'll turn the Long Fifteen into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam. Your actions have carried strength. If you speak for the two-headed bear, I'll hear your words, even if I will be the only one to hear them. If you believe it should not die this day, then answer me why. History has proven this. Our history. And you think that you have this strength enough for all of NCR. The West is not the Divide, and nothing you can do can prevent the missile's launch. Convincing me changes nothing.
It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people, yet it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. Our enemies gather outside, shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers, together at the Divide. They come for us, east and west alike. If we're done here, let's leave the divide behind. If we get separated, I'll meet you above Hopeville, near the canyon wreckage. Experiment log 369248-A, iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. Initial tests of the override system are promising. Against unsecured or lightly encrypted targets, the iBots have a 98% success rate. More heavily protected systems are still problematic. Military-grade encryption presents a very real possibility of critical overload of key systems. We've stopped tests before any robots were destroyed. But if we don't address the problem, 
Our iBots will fry themselves hacking military networks. The divide erupted in fire, violent, red, as the last message of the two couriers arced into the sky. The missiles rained like spears down on the land, burning flags and communities alike, destroying all they struck. The history of the West was erased for the second time, thorough and complete, and America slept once more. Hopeville burned lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war, never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end.
last tape, last message, in case you best me. If you're hearing this, you have, through blood or word, this message and all that lies with it. It is for you, Courier. If you want to know the why of things, this world, I've walked a good part of it. I stopped only because of you. What you did gave me pause. Long ago, I crossed the Colorado, the first among the Legion to see Hoover Dam in all its glory. An old world wall, yet bridging two sides. And beyond it, a symbol of a two-headed bear. An idea great enough to challenge Kaisar himself. Might kill him taking it, whether he won or lost. The bull needs to fight, needs the challenge. Without it, it falters, dies in the dust. Might be a lesson there, in you and me. Leave the thought behind the message to you. My message is this. The destruction that has been wrought at the Divide, or elsewhere. If you can stop me, it can happen again. It will keep happening. If war doesn't change, men must change. And so must their symbols. Even if it is nothing at all. Know what you follow, Courier. Just as I followed you to the end. Whatever your symbol, carry it on your back and wear it proudly when you stand at Hoover Dam. Experiment log 369248-A. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. The initial tests of the more heavily protected systems are... We've stopped... Hopeville burned, lightless in the night. Invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said 
A man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Thank you.